Hi there, Buster Man with you again. Long time no see. I'm currently in Lviv and I don't think it really needs mentioning if you watched my previous videos. It is still wartime in Ukraine and we, well me, will be focusing on sustaining myself. City life really differs from life in the woods in terms of comfort. Okie dokie, I finally pressed the record button again. Right now we're going to ATB, which is the most affordable shop that we have uh, in my neighborhood. And I'm going to get some groceries because I'm feeling quite hungry. And here it is, Atabe, the best market available in Ukraine because it's the cheapest. Bananas good for your protein balance and check this out there is discount for pizza so i'm definitely grabbing that got some food now let's get some water so the best place to get the water um the, che the cheapest one obviously is in this kind of machines where there is only one grivna for one liter oh shit Missed 50 coins there. It's really important to stay hydrated because we are 90% water. So, for all of this food, I paid roughly for 60. Getting food in the city is so easy, unlike in the woods where I have to catch small game to live through another day or spend hours fishing with an improvised fishing rod just to get enough calories to survive and... What the fuck am I talking about? Yeah, that's right, I might have over-exaggerated there. The only real difference is that when I lived in the woods it took much longer time to get groceries there. And that really influenced the purchases I made, taking only necessities. There is also weight that you have to take into account because you actually have to drag all the groceries up the mountain on the way back. With the availability of the products in the city, you buy quite a lot of shit you don't actually need. That's just how marketing works. They make you catch a moment of belief that you actually need some shit, but when you realize that it is shit, it's just too late because you already bought it. Please accept my apologies, we don't refund purchased products. Oh fuck. And those shops in Pilipas didn't even have that much of a variety of products. To choose from. So there I couldn't get hooked and start excessively spending money on shit that I don't actually need. So I told you previously it was hard to drag all the groceries up back to the mountain where I lived, like to the camp. Well, this quest partly stayed. Now I have to drag them to the ninth floor uh, because the elevator is not working, because Russia decided to bomb our electrical infrastructure, for fuck's sake. Uh, we just heard a boom. Uh, that's really unusual because I haven't heard it for a while and I just hope that I will not die while filming them yeah you heard it yeah you fucking heard it <laughs> yeah that's what's going on in our country now I hate this motherfucking assholes and I wish they were all fucking die sorry I don't control my anger sometimes anyways let me show you how I started out my journey in Lviv and where I used to live in the beginning I'm sure you're going to be quite impressed so I finally made my way to the place and I present to you the horse. Let me show you how I lived uh, as soon as I came back from the mountains to Lviv. Yeah, this is quite a hardcore accommodation. So every day returning home, I had to go through this stairway, which goes up to, I think it's eight floors. Yeah, quite a good cardio and it helps me stay fit even though I'm not in the mountains. Yep, our second hand market. Oh no. And I didn't take the key. They're not home. Shit. So I just found out that they're not too far away. They're actually in the basement of this uh, abandoned, well, already used abandoned uh, factory building. So 
Yeah, I'm just going to go down to the basement and uh, see the guys. So here is the entrance to the basement. Let's kick in. Oh shit. The mechanism works. Yes! And here is the hands from the last video. How are you doing, man? Uh, fine, fine. Having a construction or work as it should be. And, uh, so, this is basically like a concert place. Uh, yeah, it will be like a, a party spot. I have already hung out here once. It Not, was notwithstanding the war conditions, Ukrainians are still trying to have fun. Exactly. <laughs> and, and they are succeeding. <laughs> Katya. Ah, Katya. Oh man. A lot has changed. So this is a place where I used to live. For like one and a half months or for two months, I don't remember. There was a bed here. Yeah, this one. I used to sleep on. Yeah. Quite a cool place, but really, really cold. That's why I moved out. Like this one is our uh, New Year uh... <laughs> Christmas tree. Christmas tree. <laughs> I was planning to build myself a little shelter there in that factory premise. But honestly, at that time, all my energy went on uh, searching for ways to earn money. Well, because that's just how our life on planet Earth works. If you don't have money, well, uh, your life is going to suck. Capitalism, baby! Maybe I really am not a hobo, as I was positioning myself in the beginning of this channel's existence, as I realized that I require at least some sort of comfort. Anyways, it became too cold to live in a factory, so I decided to move into a flat with central heating. And honestly, it is just amazing. Suffering really increases the tastefulness of even seemingly small things in our life when we compare the experiences. Wow, I think I might have just convinced myself that suffering is cool. I need to give this thought some time. Also, the ways of earning money drastically differ in the woods and in the city. Exactly, degrade. I've already got my first salary and I signed into a gym because I really felt like my body needed it. So this was just a little introductory video for my city life period of this channel. So yeah, I think it was necessary for me to make this video to sort out all the questions that you might have had um, because <clears throat> I haven't been posting for a while and I missed out on all of these details that uh, happened in my life. Now I'm just going to uh, focus on my content creation part of life more because I feel like that's really what I want to be doing. Because for a while there, I think I lost my purpose a little bit. Please let me know what you think of this kind of lifestyle sharing content down in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my Bastard Main channel. It helps me substantially and it's completely free for you. Press like or dislike accordingly to whether you liked this video or not, but I'm quite sure you liked it, didn't you? Also make sure to follow me on Telegram, I post there every day about my thoughts on life, on my day-to-day -day life, and I post some memes there as well, quite a lot of shit. Um, mostly content there is in Ukrainian, but if we get enough interested English subscribers there, I'm going to make sure I translate each and every piece of content I post there to English as well. I also am counting my sober days there, because as far as you know, if you watch this video, uh, yeah, it's going to appear here, um, <laughs> I decided to give up on drinking alcohol completely, so I'm counting how many days I actually managed not to get a drop of alcohol in my system. I consider this Telegram channel as my diary, sort of. Stay tuned, my sexy subscribers. See you later in my next video, which is going to be an update on my self-improvement journey, uh, well, which is basically the beginning of my self-improvement journey. It's only been a month, 
So next video, I'm just going to share you with you uh, how I've been doing throughout this month without alcohol, without weed, and uh, trying to give up smoking, which I haven't yet done, but I'm doing my best to do it. Yeah. So see you later.